we're going from the black square to the blue square, right? From I to I prime. So I'm just gonna pick one of the um, vertices. I'm gonna pick K's. So X and Y. So what am I doing to the X? Well, I'm going back two. So I'm doing two to the left. So that means I'm subtracting two. And then what am I doing to the Y? I'm going down one, two, three, down four. So that means I'm subtracting four. So there's my rule. That's it. I told you I wrote it up at the top. <laughs> okay. And then for number two, I'm going to write it underneath. I have more room. So I've got X, Y. So what's happening? Let's pick two. Let's pick the J's. Is that a J? I think it's a J. It looks like a J. What's happening from J to J prime? What am I doing? Two in which direction? To the right or to the left? So how do I write that? Am I adding two or subtracting two? Adding two. Good. And what am I doing to the Y? Am I adding or subtracting anything? Nope. So I just write it as Y. That's it. Done. Okay. Questions? Okay. So now we're going to move on to a reflection. Okay. So a reflection is flipped over a line. Okay, an image or shape as it would be seen in the mirror, like looking in the mirror, right? You look in the mirror, okay? So the equations for this is a little different. If I reflected over the x-axis, right, if I reflected over the, the horizontal axis, what changes, x doesn't change. X stays in the same place. What changes is my y. My y becomes negative. So if it's a positive 2, it becomes a negative 2. If it's a negative 2, it becomes a positive two. The sign just changes on the y value. If I'm reflecting over the y axis, my y stays the same, and what changes is my x value. The x is exchange signs, okay? And then if I'm reflecting over any other line, it just has to be the same distance away from the line. Does that make sense? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do a few of these. And again, they're similar and congruent. All angles are congruent. All sides are congruent. The image and pre-image are similar. Okay, so we're going to reflect this over the y-axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight which axis it wants me to um, reflect it over. Can you tell me which one is the y-axis? The up and down. Good. So I'm reflecting it over that axis. Okay, so... Um, over the y axis, what is change? Is my y changing or my x changing? If I reflect it here, we can even kind of look at it. It's kind of right here. If I'm reflecting it over the y axis, what's changing? My x changes. So we can we can do it. We can do it here. Okay. So if I reflect it over the y-axis, if I count, right, you guys all know how to count it. Is that correct? Do you know how to count it out? If I'm reflecting it over. If A is two away from my axis, it's going to be two away on the other side, right? So it's going to be one, two. This is going to be A prime. So what's the location of A prime there? Can someone tell me where that point is located at? Do I need to blow it up? It's negative, not negative three. Two. Negative two, three. Okay. So A prime is at negative two, three. Okay. Now let's go to B. How far away is B? One, two, three. So I go on the other side. One, two, three which is B prime, right? So where is B at? Oh. Negative 3, 1. Very good. So B prime is at negative 3, 1. So now can you tell me just by looking at... Good. There we go. 
Because what am I doing? I'm just changing my X's, right? My X's are changing signs, and the Y is staying the same. So my location is going to be negative 1, 2. Okay, so if I go back over to my picture, C prime is at negative 1, 2. So this is C prime. So there's my cute little reflection over the y-axis. Okay? Questions? Do you guys think you can do the next one? Oh, I think it's on the next page. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so I want you to try it. Which axis is it over? Which one is the x-axis? That's one, good. So I'm reflecting over this axis here. Good, I made it smaller so you can. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a few minutes to reflect. So who can tell me where, let's pick a different color, let's pick this color. Who can tell me where M prime is at? First of all, which value is changing, X or Y? X, if I'm flipping over the X axis, my X value is changing? No, my y value is changing. If I'm flipping over my y axis, my x value changes, right? If I'm flipping over my y value, my, I'm sorry, if I flip over my x axis, my y value changes, right? So my y value is changing, my x value is staying the same. So what is M, where's M prime gonna be at? Say it louder. Negative five where? So it's at negative five, that is correct. Negative five where? Three, yes. Because if I count, right, I'm one, two, three away, so I'm gonna go one, two, three up, so that becomes M prime. So the X stays the same. Okay, where's my A prime at? Negative two where? Three, yes. So A, I'm three away, so I should be three away up here, so that should be A prime. Okay, where is T at? T prime, sorry, T prime, not T. Negative two, five, good, that's three, four, five. So there's T prime, negative two, five, beautiful. And where's H at? H prime. Negative five, five, beautiful, you guys. H prime and it should make this beautiful little rectangle nice job okay so now we're going to do the same thing once again only this time i'm going to graph and label the pre-image and reflect it over the given um, axes so i'm going to graph the pre-image we're going to graph the image right we're going to do the same thing we kind of did the same thing last last time with last notes only it was translations instead of reflections so I'm going to graph it first. So um, where are we going to graph it at? What am I doing? Um, I'm going crazy. That's what I'm doing. Um, let's graph. So three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Zero, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, one. So I've got A, B, and C. I'm a horrible drawer of lines, sorry. C. So I'm gonna reflect it over which axis? What does it say? The Y axis, so that's this one, great. When I'm reflecting it over the Y axis, which, um, which value changes, X or Y? If I'm reflecting over the Y, which one's gonna change? X, beautiful. Lovely. So what's, where is A prime going to be at? So my X is changing. So what is it going to become? All I'm changing is what? Um, it's over. See, I highlighted it. So I'm over the Y axis. Negative three. Good. Negative three, four. So it should be one, two, three. One, two, three, four, because I can't do that very well. What about B? 
Where does B go? Or what does B become? Where's B prime at? It stays where it is. It doesn't change because my X value is zero. Can there be a negative zero? No. So B just stays. I don't have to label it B prime because it's not moving anywhere. It doesn't move. So it can be the same point. So it can stay B. Okay. And where is C prime at? Negative one, one. Very good. Nice job, you guys. C prime. So, good. And most of your homework, just so you guys know, you're getting one of these, right? A point, and you got to go to here, right? So, you got to remember my rule. If I flip over the y axis, what changes? The x value. If I flip over the x axis, what changes? The y value. So, I'm just, does that make sense? So, it's the opposite value that changes. Okay? So, um,. Let's go ahead and do the number four. Do you always want me to do it with you or do you want to do it? You guys are quiet today. Can I can do it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, graph them first, right? So negative three, one. Oh, that would be negative one, right? Two, three, negative one. Two, negative four. Four and negative five, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. So that's G, F, and E. How's that look? Oh. Okay, which axis am I flipping it over this time? X. X. And which one is the X? This one or this one? Horizontal, good. So over this one. Okay, so where is E prime located at? What's staying the same? If I'm flipping over my X axis, what is staying the same? The X or the Y? Yes. If I flip over my X axis, X is staying the same. So, yes, go ahead. Uh, so why do we have to call it a different letter? Because if I can't... Um, just because so you know that E and E are related to each other. Does that make sense? What the heck? That happened. Okay, so, so I know that this point and this point are the same. We just don't want it to be, it's not in the same place. So they need to know. So you want to know why the apostrophe is called prime? In math, they just call it prime. I don't know why they call it prime. They just, some math dude in the way, way past called it prime. Does that help? Yeah. That's why they call it prime. Some math dude. Some old Greek math dude, probably. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, so where's that location at? So uh, we said X is staying the same, right? If I'm reflecting over the X axis. So what's the location of my point? Negative 3, 1. Beautiful. And um, where's F prime located at? Two four. Two, four, beautiful. And where's G prime located at? Negative five, six. Negative five, six, great. So if I graph these, let's see. Negative three, positive one, E prime. Negative five, positive six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's G prime, and F prime is at two, four. So here's my, honey, there's the notes right there. There's my, uh, there's my graph. Okay, is everyone okay with that? Not too bad, right? Reflections are pretty easy as long as it's over one of the axes. Okay, so um, the figure, what does this say? The figure HJKL is reflected over the Y axis. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight my Y axis for me. Should not talk while the bell's ringing. Um, 
what would be the coordinates of the new image? So now it just wants me to find the coordinates of the new image. So H I J K L. So I want to kind of try and write it in alphabetical order. So H J K L. Where is H at? You guys can look on your paper if you need to. You don't have to look up here. H is where? Four, three. Great. After I reflect it, where will H prime be? Very good. Who is having problems with this? Who doesn't understand what we're doing? Okay, so, so you know how to reflect, right? So if I was to reflect this, right, you know there's a mirror, right? So it's one, two, three, four over here. So it'd be one, two, three, four, which is negative four, three. So if I'm flipping it over here, the only thing that's changing is which value? The x value. So if, my, if this value was positive four, now once I flip it, it becomes what? Negative four. And the y stays the same because the height doesn't change, right? I'm not sliding it. I'm just flipping it. Does that make sense now? So if I was flipping it over my x-axis, my x value wouldn't change, right? It would still be at four, but what would change would be my, my y value because it, it was positive and now it's negative. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know what time on with this today. So that's all it says. So if I'm flipping over the y-axis, my x value changes. If I flip it over the x-axis, my y value changes. And that's the rule that, the, the two rules that was on that first page says. So after you do it, or you can just count, right? But not all of our stuff will have a graph available for us. So if you can remember that little rule, the two little, two little rules, it's, if it's over the X, it's the opposite sign, the opposite letter changes. So over the Y, the opposite letter changes. So whichever one I'm flipping over, it's the opposite letter changes. So if it's X, Y changes. If it's Y, X changes. Okay? Trying to come up with simple little things for you guys to remember. Okay, so J is located where? Two, three. So if I reflect it to J prime, where would that be at? Negative two, three. Beautiful. Since it doesn't say I have to graph it, I'm not going to graph it. They put the tape graph on there so you guys could, so it would help you guys, right? Where's K at? One, one. one, one. Great. After I reflect it, where's K prime at? Negative one, one. Beautiful. And where's L at? One, negative two. One, negative two. And after I reflect it, where's L prime at? Negative one, negative two. Negative one, negative two. Very good. Good job. Okay. I, I got it. Y'all, that's all you have to tell me is just hold on. It's very warm underneath here. Okay, so what is um, A prime? Negative four, two. Negative four, two. Very nice vanity. What is B prime? And what is C prime? Bless you. One six. One, six. Okay. How many of you guys got that answer, those answers? Just too afraid to say anything. Awesome. You guys don't have to say anything. Just get the answers, okay? Okay, so you are now going to, let me put this, you have four pictures you're just going to draw the reflections of. Huh? Where's your line of reflection? Your line of reflection is right here. So if the point is on this side of the line of reflection, it goes on the other side. If it's on this side, it's going on the other side. 
And if it's on the line of reflection, it stays there. Does that make sense? Okay, so we'll go over it. Okay, but I want you to try it first. And so go ahead and do those. Yes, we're gonna draw. Oh, probably not with a highlighter though, right? Let's see. And then it is two, three, four, five. Oh, it's two up, two up. One, two, three, four, four. This way, this way. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Attempt to draw a straight line. Whew. There's my arrow. Not too bad, right? Okay, next one I've got here. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, one, two, three. And there's that one. The heart is really bad because I can't draw curves, but I'm gonna try. Four, five, six, seven, two, seven. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, I put my point in the wrong place. I was like, why the heck isn't it going? Yeah, close enough. Kind of looks like it. Okay, and then this one. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here, one away, one away. There, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're all the way out to the edge. Here, and then there, two, three. All the way over here. There we go. And then there's that one. Whew, that was rough. Okay, there we go. So you should be working on Delta Math. There's, I don't know how many problems. I think 15. I think I, think I only gave you 15 problems today because there wasn't as much to do today without going into rotations yet. They had reflections and rotations together, but since we haven't done them, I didn't want to do them, do that one yet. So you don't have as many problems today. Okay, does that make sense? If you haven't done your disclosure or your introduce yourself on your um, canvas, you need to do that. And you have two Delta Math assignments now. If you haven't got that finished. Okay, let me push save and close.